Hey, tech fans, what's going on, man? How you guys doing? Welcome back once again to the channel. I'm Elric, your host, and today we're gonna be building the system that we talked about over on my new egg TV show called Doc's Corner. So over on that channel, I talked about a slash Hackintosh slash PC, and this is basically the build. You guys can see there's all kinds of parts out here on the table. We have tons of stuff. PCIe, boot drive, water cooling, Lots of cool stuff. Dual SSD drives, white power supply, white cables all across the table. As you can see, these all come via the lovely people that are over there at Silverstone. They provided these. We also have sponsors from Kingston, from Gigabyte. We have lots of sponsors in this awesome build. So what are we going to do today? Well, today, we're gonna just basically give you guys a build log. We're not gonna give you guys a how-to installation guide type thing, but we're gonna basically show you in steps what we're doing. First, we're gonna put the CPU and the cooler onto the motherboard, then we'll put the motherboard into the case, then we'll assemble and just do it in steps, and as we do it until the system is done, we're gonna make a compilation, and at the end of the video, that'll be what this is. So this video will be basically us building this system, which you guys can see next week on Doc's Corner on Newegg TV. We're gonna be working together doing videos now, so we're co-production here so this is the system like always you know guys any of these parts that you guys want to check out will be listed in the description below and with that said we're gonna go in and do part one as we install first the CPU and the water cooler onto the motherboard which you can see right here is one by gigabyte and then we're just gonna show you more and more as the days go on or actually as today goes on since we're doing it today but anyways let's go and let's start building this thing all right everybody so check it out so right now, we have the motherboard here. We've installed the i7-3770 CPU. This is the Water 2.0 Pro from the people over at Thermaltake. This thing was very easy to install. I know a lot of people out there go, oh my God, water cooling, it's going to kill me. But actually, it's honestly easier than air cooling. You wanna challenge me on that? Go out and buy an air cooler, go buy a water cooler. That is one of those really cheap pop-in pen ones. Actually, these type of things are much simpler. Put a black bracket on, Apply your thermal paste, four screws in, mounts, simple and done. You're talking about 15 to 20 minutes. So this is step one, we've got this on here. Now we're gonna go inside, start getting the crease ready to move the rest of the parts in, and then we'll give you an update as we go along. All right, everybody, so check it out. Continuing on with our dual boot system now. So far, we have mounted the motherboard inside the system, the water cooler, everything's inside there. We've also mounted all the drives, which just push out by button on the side here. So we have both the HyperX drives. Those are the two drives here on top. And one thing cool about this is all the wiring is actually done internally and actually back on the rear side of the case. So I have to worry about any wire bullshit whatsoever. Just easy money all the way. Got the two two terabyte drives installed in the last two drives. And I still have an extra drive bay down here in case I want to get crazy. So let me put these things back in here. And as we were going and looking and discovering things about the build, I discovered that that OCZ PCIe SSD is not going to be working very well with the Mac OS. So we decided to forego using that and we're gonna try something a little bit different this time. So once I put all these things back in here, I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure these all lock. You guys can hear those all make a little click sound. I'm gonna go ahead and use this A data this is a little M SATA 128 gigabyte drive. I'm gonna go ahead and install that and install the memory right now so you guys can see some live action stuff. So with that said, I'm gonna get up right now. By the way, all the cabling that we're using is by Silverstone. Thanks very much, Mr. Juan over there. We appreciate that. So we're gonna move all this stuff out of the way and I'm gonna go ahead and take the system now and set it down inside of here. All right, everybody. So. Here we have where we're going to put the memory in. Here's the memory that we're going to be using. This is our Kingston 16X HyperX. What we usually use, Kingston's some of our favorite stuff. I'm going to go ahead and break the seal right here. Let's check this out. HyperX Beast Matching Pair. So I'm going to come down here now into the case, open up a couple of slots of my memory. Now these are only two sticks, so I'm going to put one as close as I can to my CPU. Just go in there, match up the slot, take the memory, simply push it down, click, easy money. Take the second stick, bring in the third stick down. 
and there's the memory. You guys can see we're using white cables, water coolers in. Now we're gonna continue along the build and we'll bring you an update in just a couple minutes. All right, folks, so next up, we're going to install the M SATA drive on this Gigabyte motherboard. So we'll do once again, do a little mini unboxing right here as I take this package out here. This time I'm gonna actually bring it as so you can see it. It's so the 128 gigabyte A data M SATA. Go ahead and pop that out of this little box right there. You guys can see it's a simple insertion. So I'm gonna bring it down into the motherboard right here. Match the two holes up and then voila, it plugs in and then you just pop it in just like you do laptop memory. So easy going. Now we've got 128 gigabyte boot drive that's mounted onto the motherboard. See you in a minute. Okay, folks, so we're continuing along in the day. Now, I know to you folks, it just seems like a couple of minutes, but actually, Anthony Reynolds of Texas been here all day long getting this thing good. Now, check it out. We've got the video card installed, got the basic power supply installed. Everything's really good to go. Now we're gonna do the final touches of getting all the cables and everything taken care of. Then we get all the cable management so it looks perfectly, totally, utterly cool and clean. Then we'll be going on and doing the software. Now, all in all, this has taken probably about four and a half hours to do, taking the time to make sure everything's done completely right. Um, one thing I wanna say with the water cooler thing, once again, um, these type of things, a lot simpler than buying a kit because you don't have to pre-test, pre-fill, check for leaks. These things are guaranteed not to leak and everything. And if it does leak, well, if you're gonna be getting your money from those people, they'll take care of it, but it won't leak. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and let's finish the system up and then we'll show you guys the final build before we do the software. See you in a few. Okay, folks, so here we are at the end of the day. The system's completely built. Now is gonna come the interesting part installing the different parts of software. So we know it's possible. There's just some tricky ways to go about doing it. One thing I'm not quite sure of is I'll be able to use this keyboard in both the Mac and the PC system. I may not be able to do that. I may have to actually have a Macintosh keyboard and mouse to be able to use, well, the Hackintosh versions of the system. That I don't know, I will find out because I'm now going to take the next effort and install the different types of software. Luckily, I have Mac stuff around so that won't be a problem at all. I'm gonna try just using this. So the first thing I'm probably gonna do, start up, I have the two drives in there. So I'm gonna use each one of those drives, I think now, as the primary drive. So we have those two SSDs we talked about. I'm gonna use one for the Mac, one for the PC. And for right now, until we figure out the mod, I'm just gonna go into the BIOS, and I'll go to the BIOS, and I'll make one the boot, disable the other, and that way there won't be any problems, and it'll be clean and easy to do. So, with that said, make sure you guys check it out, because on Newegg, I'm gonna have my video going up on this as well, so you guys don't wanna make sure you miss that. Also, if you have any interest of purchasing this type of system, all the links will be down below in the description. Everything inside the system you can buy at Newegg. I think currently, though, the UGK might be out of stock, but you can buy these parts separately so you can build yourself a system pretty much exactly the same as here. So that's pretty much it, folks. We thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Much thanks to our tech, Anthony Reynolds, man. He's the guy who fucking always helps us do these things. Uh, you guys know I have really bad diabetes, so if I shake like crap and if I try to build most of this, I'd probably break it. But that's why you got good friends, right? So peace out. Make sure you guys hit that like button and like that video. Here's Buddy the dog. You guys know you love him. If you don't hit the like button, he'll be sad and feel like you don't love him. And not to break his heart, you want to make sure you do. So... That said, also be subscribed because the 100K contest is about to come to a head and we're giving away a whole computer plus another computer. So don't miss out. See you folks later.